Twin Bush, Germany. Your competent partner for lifting platforms and vehicle garage equipment with 11 branches in seven countries. Today we will show you how to set up your TWS319E from Twin Bush. Your TWS319E is supplied in a single package. The dimensions are width 216 centimeters, height 169 centimeters, depth 80 centimeters, and weight 927 kilograms. Remove the packing straps from the crate of the control unit. The crate can then be lifted off the pallet and opened, starting with the lid of the transport crate. Bend open the sealing tabs, remove the lid, and remove the hydraulic hoses. You can put these to one side for now. Now open the front. Here you will find the operating instructions. Read these carefully before continuing with the assembly. Now remove the floor plates, as these will also be needed at a later stage. Then remove the control unit and remove the foil. Inside the control unit, you will find the heavy duty anchors, screws for the floor plates, and four rubber lifting blocks. Now remove the tensioning straps around the platforms. When positioning the platforms, bear in mind that the sides with the handles will later be on the outside. We turn the track by 90 degrees to get under the base frame. Please note that you should always lift the platforms when they are closed. Otherwise, the safety catches will lock in a raised position. We use a motor crane to set down the tracks, but you can also use a forklift. We secure the lifting straps in the access ramp to prevent them from slipping. For presentation purposes, we will show you how to install the TWS319E on the TWCTT450 turntable. Please note that the scissor lift must be anchored to the floor for use. We will show you how to anchor it with heavy-duty anchors later. One side of the roadway is now being underpinned in order to relocate the motor crane. Once the lifting straps have been moved, the substructure can also be removed. The lifting straps are removed with an assembly iron and the platform is aligned. Then the second platform is installed. First remove the four fastening screws on the wooden pallet. Then proceed in the same way as with the first platform. Now align the secondary platform. The distance between the tracks should be 80 centimeters at all points. The next step is to install the hydraulic lines between the platform and lay the cable for the limit switch. Remove the cable ties on the secondary platform and route them to the main platform. The lines are inserted into the mounting brackets on the platform. Then screw on the hydraulic lines according to the wiring diagram. The main line connects the two left-hand cylinders of the tracks. The main cylinder of the secondary platform is then connected to the secondary cylinder of the main platform. This is the leveling line 1 in the circuit diagram. 
Now connect the leveling line 2 of the secondary platform and the main cylinder of the main platform. Now connect the three hydraulic lines supplied to the main platform. We will look at the distribution in the control unit in the next step. As soon as all three hydraulic hoses are connected, we turn our attention to the connection in the control unit. The hydraulic hoses are fed through a hole in the floor into the inside of the control unit. Remove the protective cap from the main line connection and connect it to the main line. Tighten the connection of the hose fittings. Then connect the leveling line 2 to the rear connection of the hydraulic unit. This is also tightened again. Now connect the leveling line 1 and screw it tight. Then go through all the connections on the platforms and tighten them. Now connect the cables of the limit switch, locking magnets, and the light barrier. Remove the cable ties and guide the cable through the cable holder and through the hole in the floor into the inside of the control unit. Here it is connected according to the wiring diagram. Pay attention to the labeling of the cables. These show you the correct plug connections. You will need 15 liters of HLP32 hydraulic oil, which is not included in the scope of delivery and must be ordered separately. Please note that the filling rod does not indicate whether there is too much or too little hydraulic oil in the tank. Now you can start a first test run of your TWS319E. To do this, switch off the light barrier for synchronization. Check the tightness of all connections. Your TWS319E is now fully assembled. We will now show you how to correctly screw the platforms with heavy-duty anchors. Using a two-post lift as an example, it is essential to note the required depth of the drill hole and the concrete thickness. If the heavy-duty anchor is not properly sunk into the concrete, or if the concrete does not meet the technical specifications, the stability of the platform may be impaired. Please refer to the operating instructions for the exact technical specifications. The platform does not need to be moved to set the heavy-duty anchors. Drill vertically and note the required depth of the drill hole. Clean the drill holes carefully, for example by blowing. Drive the heavy-duty anchor in carefully and straight using a sledgehammer. Before tightening the nuts, the columns must be checked for vertical alignment. If necessary, shim the posts on the heavy-duty anchors with the shims supplied. Once the columns are aligned, tighten the nuts with a torque wrench to the torque required according to the instructions. To vent your TWS319E, check that the light barrier for synchronization is switched off and raise the lift to about three-quarters position. Make sure that you do not raise the lift as far as the limit switch. Now you can remove the locking magnets 
otherwise these can be damaged by continuous load during the venting process. To do this, unscrew the cylinder cover. Here you will find the locking magnet, which is secured with four screws. Disconnect the plug and then loosen the four screws to remove the locking magnet. Also remove the safety catch. By opening the two valves and pressing the down one button, you can now lower the platform again. In practice, it has proved useful to place something heavy, such as a set of rims or bags of cement, on the platforms to speed up the lowering process. The lift can be lowered completely using the down two button. Now allow the TWS319E to rest for 10 minutes so that the air can continue to escape. This process is now repeated seven to eight times. Close the valves and raise the platform again. As soon as the second platform is raised, also remove the locking magnet. Continue venting until there is no more air in the hydraulic system. Please note, the platforms do not have to move in synchronization. The leveling takes place in the next step. We are now leveling the TWS319E. You should follow these steps for a new installation or if the platforms of the TWS319E are not leveled. The following steps are required to level the TWS319E. Raise the platforms two to three centimeters. Open the valves to lower both platforms. Close the valves. Check synchronization. Repeat the procedure until both platforms run simultaneously. Please note, the valves must not be opened under load. First raise the scissor lift two to three centimeters. Now open the two valves for the main and assistant platform. When both platforms are completely lowered, close the valves again and raise the lift another two to three centimeters. Repeat the process until both platforms are in synchronization again. You have done it. Your TWS319E is now running synchronously again. Now reinsert the two electromagnetic locking magnets. Make sure that the pins of the plugs are firmly seated and not bent. Once you have inserted the locking magnets and the cylinder cover plates, we can start a test run. To do this, switch on the light barrier and raise the scissor lift up to the limit switch. Your TWS319E is now fully assembled and ready for use. Visit us in one of our branches. With 11 branches in seven countries, also in your area. We offer advice and product demonstrations in our showrooms. As well as sales and technical service on site with our service fleet. Warehouse logistics with a large stock of products available for immediate delivery spare parts and repair service, assembly videos with step-by-step -step instructions, as well as constant new and further developments of our products. Everything from a single source, from lifts to tire changers and tire balancers, awarded nine times as the best brand. Twinbush, your competent automotive garage supplier.